A typical symphony orchestra features about 100 instruments, but normally only one of them is a tuba. Well, that all changes on December 21st when the sound of 200 tubas will fill the air at Pioneer Courthouse Square. I can't even imagine trying to hold a tuba, let either. alone try to play I one. I agree yeah. with you. <laughs> can't wait to see this. The 33rd annual Tuba Christmas concert will be led by conductor Chuck Bolton. Tony has his story in today's all new show and tell. So this is an over-the-shoulder tuba for reasons which should seem obvious, and it dates back to the 1860s. So we're talking Civil War with this, uh, and it is one of about a dozen in Chuck's collection. I'm going to hand this back over to you. Um, a dozen tubas. Is, yes. is it possible to have too many tubas, Chuck, <laughs> honestly? <laughs> well, depending on the size of your house <laughs> and your pocketbook. But other than that, no. <laughs> The tuba has shaped your adult life. 40 years associated with the Oregon Symphony, uh, coming up on 60 years as an instructor of band at college and high school level. I mean, when did you first discover that you loved this instrument and wanted to make it part of your life? Basically, it was something I could play and be successful at because I wasn't successful. It's kind of a quirky, whimsical instrument, isn't it? Yes, but tuba players are very, very loyal. I can't really tell you why people enjoy playing the tuba, but yeah, tuba players are extremely loyal to their instrument. I think most tuba players are pretty joyful, um, happy, uh, sometimes prankster, jokers, people. You've been conducting the uh, the Christmas the Tuba Christmas concert for how many years now? Uh, about 15, I guess. And these happen worldwide, is that right? Hundreds. Wow. All, every, every continent, everywhere. So what makes Portland's performance special? Uh, one is that we have a great venue there at the square. I mean, there's room for tons of people. But at Tuba Christmas, every song, the tuba gets to play the melody for part of it. So you play more melody at one tuba Christmas than you probably did your whole career before you... Wow. And 200 players. Well, that's what they... We've had as many as 300. But you know, hundreds of you playing these at the same time. Yes. With one practice prior to the performance. Yes, one short practice. Does that make you nervous at all as the conductor? A, a little bit because we have a lot of middle school kids in there and sometimes the rhythms and the key signatures can be a challenge. Uh-huh. <laughs> Which I think this makes it all the more exciting sure. for people to come and see that. It's not polished, but it sounds good. Where do you see yourself going with all this? I mean, you've had a great career already. Are you, are you ever going to stop? <laughs> As long as the Lord lets me play, I will continue to play and teach. Wow. Well, we really uh, congratulate you on an amazing career uh, with the tuba and wish you the best of luck at the concert coming up. Thank you very yeah, much. Great chatting with you. <laughs> what a fun little story. I love yeah. it. Mm -hmm. he's, he's a legend really he's darling. locally in, yeah. the, in the band world uh, as an instructor, and he'll be the conductor on this concert coming up. But tuba has literally taken him around the world. Wow. Playing Isn't that and conducting. What instrument yeah. like yeah. that? He conducted a, uh, in China with a tuba wow. concert. Yeah. Uh, uh, just a really amazing. You know guy. what I love too? Very is humble. Yeah, yeah. They have students with them as yeah. well. You yeah. know, oh, yeah. it's, it's yeah. all yeah. ages. Yeah. It's yeah. such a great community <laughs> gathering event. But I love it. It's one practice. It's like in the day of. Like they all <laughs> so meet, good. like you know, oh somewhere goodness. off the corner. Set your expectations. And then <laughs> just, you know, okay, here we go. But it's a great family event, and of course, it's all free. So yeah. Really quick, I loved his Christmas sweater that was tuba related. Who knew? Yes. And then um, you held that one from eight, the 1800s. It, it's heavy. Well, and you see, you know, that the, isn't like a tuba. There's so many types of tuba. Yeah. I have no idea. That one, the sound goes back. Okay. So they used to use it when they were marching, like in war, oh, wow. so the soldiers oh. could hear it. Oh, and, oh. But some have it where it faces forward. Right. I mean, right. I had no idea. That's typically wow. what we see in marching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. So it was a great piece, Tony. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Wow. It's a great tradition, too, at Pioneer Square. And, and the Thanks, concert Tony. takes place, what, December 21st? 21st, 1.30, free Pioneer Courthouse. Square. So fun. Love it. Free's Love a good it. price. Amazing. <laughs> All right.